shout out to my friend Kaylee for recommending this story and for giving me the book that it is written in. It's a great story and perfect for Independence Day. Thanks, Kaylee. Hello. 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 I am a story girl and welcome and, and welcome. welcome and welcome to the story. Betty's Luck. <sighs> Today, Betty had been left all alone. Well, wow. she was there with the baby. But the baby hardly counted as a full person. Besides, her family had all gone into town. But someone had to stay with the baby. Well, Betty decided she might as well do her chores, and so she bustled around the house. She was just gathering water from the wells, and she heard the clippity-clop of horse hooves coming up the road. Who could it be? She wondered. She came around the house to see a grand sight indeed. Four horses riding in front of a large carriage that was being pulled by four more beautiful white horses. Betty had never seen such a sight, but they were nothing compared to the man who stepped out of the carriage. He took off his hat to her, made a little bow, and said, My dear young woman, may I have a drink of your water? Certainly, sir, she said, bobbing a curtsy and handing him her bucket. Betty had always been taught to be generous to travelers and strangers, and so she said, Sir, if you're willing to wait a while longer, I could give you breakfast, too. Well, that would be fine, said the gentleman. It's true that we haven't had a bite to eat today. We've been riding all morning. Well, Betty got to work immediately, pulling out the cold meats and all of the vegetables and dried fruits and setting a beautiful white tablecloth on the table, laying out the very finest dishes that she had. When everything was ready, the man sat down and ate a fine breakfast. Surely, such a young woman as you don't live in this house all alone, said the gentleman. Oh, no, sir. I live here with my mama and my papa and my brother John and the baby. But they all went into town today. They went into town and left you alone? Well, you see, sir, someone has to look after the baby, and it is a very important day in town because President George Washington will be coming through town. Will he now? said the gentleman. Yes, and my brother is going to dress up like a little soldier to follow the carriage, and my mama and papa are going to join in throwing flowers in front of his carriage as it rides by. I would like to see him, but I don't mind looking after the baby. Well, the gentleman finished the breakfast, stood up and took little Betty's hand and kissed it. My dear young woman, said he, you may tell your parents and your brother John that you saw President George Washington before any of them, and he kissed your hand, for I am President George Washington. The End I am a story girl, that story girl with an I, and if you like today's stories, I recommend one of the stories right over here to follow it up with. And if you like the stories, go ahead and comment what your favorite story is. It might end up on the show. If you're feeling like you'd like more stories, I post stories every single Tuesday and the odd Thursdays and every other Friday. If you want even more stories, you can go ahead and subscribe.